What is going on guys? Welcome to this new tutorial series on Neural9. It is about Python tricks and tips, which is essentially a tutorial series that is not for beginners, not for intermediates necessarily. It's just showing you some tricks that you can use in the Python language. Uh, I would not consider them to be very advanced skills or something that is very uh, complicated, but I would also say it's not necessarily a beginner topic, which is why I made this extra playlist here where we're just going to talk about interesting things that you can do with Python that speed up your coding make your code more fancy, more effective, more efficient, whatever. And in the first episode today, we're going to start with list comprehensions. So let us get right into it. So what list comprehensions essentially are just a concise way to create lists in Python. Now, let's say you have some sort of list here, for example, numbers equals, and then you have a bunch of values here, 18, 16, 22, uh, 99, 23, 11, 54, and so on, just some values. And what you want to do is you want to filter out all the even values and you want to create a new list only containing the even values of this list. So what you would do is you could say new list or even numbers, whatever, uh, create an empty list. And then you would go ahead and say for number in numbers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, if the number is even, so if the division by the number two results in a remainder of zero, um, then I'm just going to say new list dot append the number that we're talking about. So this is a way that definitely works. So we can go ahead and say print new list. And you will see that we'll end up with a list only containing the even values down here, you can see 18, 16, 22, and 54. We don't have any other even values in the list. Um, and this is not a wrong way. It's not an inefficient way but it takes more lines of code than if we use list comprehensions. Now list comprehensions are very, very simple to use instead of writing a full loop and then an if statement across multiple lines, uh, lines, what we do is we use the square brackets and inside of those square brackets, we specify what the list shall contain. So I can say, for example, it shall contain the number. So just the number that we're talking about, I haven't defined what the number is yet. I'm just saying the number for all the number uh, elements in numbers. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm saying the element that ends up in the list is the first thing that I say here. So number, uh, but what is number? So I can also call this X, for example, what is X? X is just every element in numbers. And now what I can do is I can add a um, condition to it. So I can say X for X in numbers, but only if X modulus two equals zero. So this is a one liner here, as you can see, new list, uh, new list equals x for x in numbers, if x modulus two equals zero, that is the only condition. And if I go ahead and print this here, you will see that we'll end up with the exact same result in the terminal down here, 18, 16, 22, and 54, because the code is essentially the same. Uh, it's just written in a different way in a more concise way, um, using list comprehensions. Now, another thing that we can do inside of those list comprehensions is not only manipulate the condition and the loop, we can also manipulate the actual object that we're adding into the list. So let's say we have numbers here again, but this time we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what I want to do is I don't want to add those values to the list. I want to add uh, powers of two to the list. So I'm going to say powers of two. And what I want to do is I want to take two to the power of one, two to the power of two, two to the power of three, and so on and get it into the list. So what I can do here is I can not only say X for X in numbers, I can also say two to the power of X for X in numbers. And the important thing is here, I'm not only able to manipulate what I'm iterating uh, over or what the condition is. So I can of course also specify an if statement here, but I can also manipulate the element itself. I don't have to work with X, uh, directly, I can use x just as in as an exponent for two. So I can say two to the power of x here. And what I'm ending up with at the end is just the powers of two, which we can see when we run the script, you can see I end up with two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128, because those are the powers of two. And of course, I can also get rid of this list here, and just replace it with range, uh, whatever, for example, 30. And I'll get all the powers of two 
up until 30. So up until the exponent of 30, one, two, four, and so on until we get to this large number here, two to the power of 30 or two to the power of 29, I'm not sure where it stops. Um, but you can specify any kind of list at the end here. And then you can just go ahead, iterate uh, through it and then apply an operation to the result. You don't have to store X directly based on a certain condition. You can also go ahead and say two to the power of X or do anything you want with X. You can also apply a function that returns another value. And of course I can add an if condition here as well. So I can say if uh, X is divisible by five, for example, if I want to do that. And I'll only get two to the power of numbers that are divisible by five, as you can see. So last but not least, we're going to look at an example that will show you that you can also use else branches, not only if statements and conditions that have to be met, but also what happens if they're not met. And for this, I prepared a um, list of words, a list of string, uh, strings. And what we have here is the word automobile. We have the word car. We have the word uh, anger, we have the word fox, and we have the word uh, anchor. And the idea is, or the uh, trivial task here is to just uh, get all the words that start with A and to make them uppercase while all the other words remain lowercase. So of course we can um, do this in many different ways. We can do this with a map function, which is not a trick that we're going to learn uh, about. We can do this with uh, an ordinary loop, but we can also do this with a list comprehension. So what we can do here is we can just say words equals, and then we can say word dot upper. So we're saying the word shall be upper if the word dot starts with, which is a string function with the letter A and else we can say word. So in this case, we're using a so-called ternary operator. I'm going to make an, uh, a separate video on this one, but essentially we're using this concise if statement here where we say, okay, if this condition in the middle is met, we're going to do this here. And if it's not met, we're going to just use the word. Uh, and we're going to do this thing for all the words in words. So as you can see, we're saying word dot upper if word starts with a, else just the ordinary word for every word in words. And I think we could also add a condition to the end here, uh, but it's not necessary right now. So what we can do here is we can just go ahead and print words. And you're going to see that automobile anger and anchor uh, are now uppercase because they satisfy the condition word starts with a and car and Fox remain the same. Uh, now, of course, if I don't use this else thing here, if I just say, uh, word that upper if word starts with a at the end, for example, here, um, I will only get the words that start with a, of course, they're, they're going to be uppercase, but I'm losing car and Fox because I don't have an alter alternative of what to do if the word does not start with a. So this is also one thing that we can do with list comprehensions. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if you like this tutorial series, if you like this kind of video, um, if so, I'm going to make much more of it because it's a very uh, simple tutorial playlist. You know, you just have to find something in Python that's exciting and you can make a video about it. It's not too complicated. You don't have to understand uh, machine learning mathematics or any complex things. You can just go ahead and find a nice feature of the language and then use it. So if you want to see more of those videos, let me know in the comment section based on your response. I'm going to decide if I'm going to make just a couple more videos or a lot more videos. So let me know in the comment section and by hitting the like button. Also make sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more future videos for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.